really it's just an honor to be nominated. Hey everybody, welcome to Madden Channel Live. I'm Beth Hoyt, and man, do we have a show for you. Okay, today in the show, we have the amazing sketch duo Britannic Britannic of the Highly View YouTube channel, Britannic, who's t who Hi guys, let's start over. I just got back from Vegas, I'm still drunk. Anyway, I'm not. They're from the highly viewed YouTube channel, Britannic, whose videos have been featured on Cracked and nominated at the Comedy Awards. They've also appeared in movies such as Joss Whedon's Much Ado About Nothing. They're here. But right now, let's get to this. Do you smell it? It's dead Christmas trees. But also, it's award season. It's in the air. Oscar nominations were announced this morning. The Golden Globes are happening this weekend. What is Jennifer Lawrence going to wear on her amazingly boobed body? What is Hugh Jackman going to wear on his amazingly boobed body? Also, I just got back from Las Vegas, as I mentioned, where everyone who's anyone internet was there for the IWTV Awards. I met them all. Who do you want to talk about? Okay, so I'm still wearing my dress from the awards because, you know, it's timely right now and because we are having our own award ceremony today on Madame Channel Live. Ladies and gentlemen of the internets, I present to you the first annual Bethy Awards. My Damn Channel Live presents the Bethy Awards. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Nate. Nate's Why? in his corner. Hi. Okay, yeah. So um, Nate will be being comment DJ all show, so get your questions and stuff in the chat right now. Nate will bring them up throughout the show. Yeah. Okay. What's that now? Why do we call it the Bethy Awards? Because, well, that sounds like a lot better than the Dammy Awards. Yeah, but right? you could, yeah, but you could call it like the Nate. <laughs> Crack me up, Nate. It's so funny. Okay, so the Bethies. Everyone's gonna want one of these. Trust me on this one. You might even be nominated, Nate. Wait, really? Yeah. Anything is always possible in awards season. So you've got to know how to react when awards situations go down. You just got to be ready, Nate. Well, how are we supposed to be ready? Uh, you got to practice, 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 practice. Okay, Nate, give me um. Give me a situation that would happen at the Oscars. I'm gonna... Okay, sure. Uh, okay. okay, so you're Anne Hathaway. Oh, okay. You've worked your entire life for this award. Mm -hmm. You cut all of your hair off for Les Mis. Okay. You're pretty sure you're gonna win. But then last minute, Meryl Streep pulls out the victory. How do you react? Okay. Okay. So keep smiling. She has those big eyes in the mouth. She just keeps smiling. Right. That's terrifying. Oh, gosh. That's what I think about, you know? That's, that's, how, she's, that's how she does it. We need your help, you guys. Leave a comment with awards show reactions for Nate and I. We'll give them a shot. Um, here's one for you, Nate. Okay. Okay. You're um, Hugh Jackman. <laughs> Never. Uh, you just won Best Actor. You want to be taken seriously, but like you're fi you're fighting an immense cry. Do it. <laughs> wow. I've never seen so many emotions happen on your face, and all at once. That was yeah. very impressive. Thanks. You so now I know now I'll never know when you're just smiling big if you're fighting a cry. I'll never know that. Nope. Now. It's a mystery for all of us to just wonder about. This is good. Okay, well we're getting some face game suggestions from you guys in the chat. I've got another one. Okay. Um, you're not nominated, so you've arrived at the awards show drunk. Uh, you're like you're goofing around, maybe you're tweeting, or maybe you're like making fun of the little girl from Beasts of the Southern Wild. And then the camera pans to you. Okay, give me those faces. Wow. Shit. Wow. Great. Wow. So good. You guys are so ready to be guests of the Bethy Awards. Please welcome you guys at home, Brian Hi. and Nick of Britannic. Brian Tannic. Brian Tannic. It's that's what Get it <laughs> fucking right. Everyone, everyone makes that mistake. It's fine. No, it's totally fine. It's we a made just, up word. Uh, we no, but I knew that. You just die a little on the inside. I know. Well, it's because Brian. Yeah, exactly. And, I and know also that. Nick. No, well, it's the just the Nick part I got. The Nick oh, part yeah. I have nailed down. Good. Yeah. Good. I'm going to get doing? it. I'm good. Thanks for having us. Well, yeah, really. thank you for being here. I'm a big fan. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Don't get me the fact that I said it wrong. Get in, get in the get way of that. Get in the way of that lie you that. just told us? <laughs> no, it's true. No, it's very true. I've been a big fan for a long time. This studio is terrible for my ADD. Oh, yes. Yeah. This, <laughs> this, is, this is like the most horrifying. Right. So if we lose you, I just... Yeah, yeah. Seizure. Talk There's so much color in here, guys. It's true. It's true. We've got a lot going on. Do you have any suggestions for like the awards for... The Nate? viewers do. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. <laughs> Should be coming up there. 
Christopher Nolan, this is from Jim McCann. Christopher Nolan watching the nominations this morning with high school people he's trying to impress. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Was he nominated? Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, wait. Are we doing it? Are we doing it now? Yeah. Can we do it now? Okay. <laughs> uh. Whoa. 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 Look at that. I directed Inception. <laughs> we we do we're both, guys, we're, both Nolan. Nolan is, we're both Christopher Nolan. We're both we're both Christopher Nolan. With my toe size. We, Christopher Nolan we, could do that. Guys, should, look, at we did, look at what we look at this movie we uh, one directed. <laughs> it's you crazy. may be more curious as to how we're two people, but I want to point out that the, um, my movie got nominated, and I am the same. And so I say the same as well. You guys well. are taking the faces game above and beyond and just showing what great performers Accuracy. you are. Accuracy. We yeah. like, uh, it was I just, I also need to clear up. <laughs> no, that was, I mean, the two of you combined, no if you put you yours like. together, it'd be. Um, I said my toe size. We're never supposed work? to. Your toe size? My toe. My, my <laughs> What's toe your toe size? What is your toe size? My toe Brian? size? 12. Wow. That's wow. very, you know what that means. Um, I also want to. Weirdly long. <laughs> yeah, like that, good luck finding shoes is what that means. <laughs> I also want to clear up that Christopher Nolan didn't get nominated. I was thinking Christopher Waltz yeah. from Django. Yes, oh, yeah, very different people. I yeah. was like, really? Yeah. 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 <laughs> so then I did too. By your reaction, yeah. I was like, let me double check that in my mental Wikipedia. So I, I got did. another Nate. one too. Oh, this one is uh, D James two one six says you hate awards, but we're forced to show up at the show. You win and couldn't care less, but try and humor everyone that are happy. Wait, you were nominated right. or no? You win, but oh, you, you don't won. Really care. Wow, so you're like Daniel Day Lewis. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. See, that was good, Daniel Day Lewis, right there. Were you trying to do that? What did I that do? Just, you were like, oh, yeah. Oh, okay, good. We, good. Do it. Okay. Yeah, take it. Thanks. Ooh, very subtle, very effective, mm -hmm. very accurate. I went, I lived for a year as a shoe cobbler to prepare for that. To <laughs> prepare for Daniel Day Lewis's. Yeah. You can tell. Yeah. yeah. Wow, good work. Another one. Yes, Nate. Maria Moni or Mariana Moniz uh, says Nicholas Cage acceptance speech. I don't even think he's nominated, but do you guys do a Nicholas Cage? That means he's that means he's like sort of photobombed the, the, the stage. There. <laughs> yeah, we don't really do. There's a video online. I'm sure you guys have seen it, or maybe you have. It's like Nicholas Cage like freaking out, yes, and there's so one good. where he just goes. He's yeah. walking, and it's like this like dolly shot, and he goes. <laughs> <laughs> and it's such a beautiful camera move that if you know the moment wasn't like scripted, a ballet. it was just like nothing's Christ, better. I we've think we've got to use that take. Uh, yeah, nothing's better. Yeah, like, that's, 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 that's it. the one. Perhaps I don't know. He said he screamed day. fuck every time, but we were out of light. Have you seen the one where he like he like goes to the alphabet? He's like trying to yeah, out of yeah, file yeah. stuff. And he's like <laughs> A B C. You just mean moving along. Is that what this thing? And it's here. Um, <laughs> the best yeah. of the things they know the bees, and when he punches every that video, and they yeah, show the oh, the punching all the way yeah. Wicker Man, great. Okay, that was really great. Very emotionally taxing. Mm -hmm. I feel physically and mentally warmed up. How about you guys? I guess so, sure. Yeah, you, you say so. You are, you, well, you, maybe you're not. We'll cool. work so on we're going to start video. the show now? Yeah. Cool. Okay. Now the show starts. <laughs> It's now time to get into our first award of the Bethies. Great. Brian and Nick, um, are you guys cool to introduce the first award? Yeah, Just I guess so. Right sure. Oh, we do it at the same time? It looks like it. The, the nominees, nominees for, for Best Costume and Makeup Design, design are... Best Costume slash makeup. Zombies, beauty pageant, face paint, boyfriend does my makeup, the hobbit, an unexpected journey. Yes, great. And the Bethy for best costume goes to Zombies! Zombies got it. Zombies. I knew it. I wow. fucking told you. They're due. They're due. Yeah, they are due. I'm gonna the zombies from the Halloween episode, it's unfortunate, but they were just staked in the head. Walkers are dangerous. Mm -hmm. You gotta get So the zombies were able to attend today due to their second deaths. I will be accepting this award on their behalf. Um, I'm sure they'd like to thank the cast and crew and their moms and God. Sure. Do you think zombies believe in God? I would hope. If God gave them that fate, they better not. I mean, yeah. probably not. Yeah, I, I don't think they believe in anything. Yeah. Big, this is a different show. Okay, let's take a moment to admire those costumes right now. Check it out. Thanks again. Nick, can you count us down? Five, four, three, two, one. We're back. I'm here with Brian and Nick from the Comedy Sketch Group of Britannic. So it's award season. Oscar nominations announced this morning. Golden Globes this Sunday. The Bethies are happening right now. And you guys are really familiar with awards ceremonies because you made a video for Cracked that's like really Oscar themed. Yes, yes, that's right. It's called the Academy Award-winning movie trailer. 
Uh, and uh, have you seen it? Got, like a lot of you have. Yeah, it was like our first video that kind of went viral. We like we, we made it three years yeah. ago. We really wanted to get it out like it, for the we did Oscars it in ten days. Edited it cost one us night, a uh, couple hundred bucks and one relationship. Oh. In a couple years off our life. I'm sorry. By the way, it's fine. And then that's when you went into the year of shoe cobbling. So yeah. Like, then then I went. Then I was a shoe cobbler for a while. Yeah. And now here Good I timing. am. Good timing. <laughs> yeah, it's all working out. Yeah. No, this video is incredible. I'm sure if any of you have seen it, you've passed to someone. Let's take a look at it because we're um, in that award season. So it's Let's time do it. to just like dive into this trailer, please. A toast. Establishing me as the wealthy, successful protagonist. Who is handsome? Yeah. Remember the green yeah. 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 Talking to people. Yeah. Friendly concern that something may be missing from your life. Confidence that nothing is missing in my life. Interrupted statement about... Reassurance that my good fortune will not waver. Introduction of characters suffering from the most topical disability of the present year. Said retard is now under your custody. My catchphrase! Frustration with these new circumstances. Admiration at your seeming selflessness. Interest in your bold rejection of social norms as evidenced by your dyed hair. My name. My name. Catchphrase. Relief at having found meaning in my life. Friendly concern that a string of heightened and seemingly unrelated plots may now arise. Dude. Differences are surfacing between us. Accusations about your sexuality. Suspicion that a character once thought trustworthy may not be trustworthy. Also, I've got to use tough love to help this Latin American teenager believe in himself. Also, I must prove innocent this incredibly humble human male. Also, I've decided to fight with the Native American metaphor against the American military metaphor. Lead females name! A naive yet inspiring statement. <coughs> and then the music gets hopeful. Specific outlining of your major character flaws. Overreaction. <laughs> Friendly, black, optimistic advice. Passionate plea. Whispered repetition. This scene doesn't make it to the final cut of the movie. Mm. Inspiring final lines of a speech that douchebags will quote in their Facebook profiles. Yeah! Explicitly stating the moral of the story and awkwardly working in the movie title. Oh, catchphrase! It's not going to be entirely a dramatic film because we laughed there. That'd be so cool if that could play as a trailer, like just randomly at movie theaters yeah. without an introduction. We did one time actually at the Egyptian in LA. One of our cool. friends' uh, his yeah. indie film, Drones. Drones. Yeah. He let us play it, and the audience was like, what the <laughs> hell is this? I love but it went it. over really well. At the end. I believe it. Also, yeah. a little factoid the guy that holds Nick back when he says lead female's name oh, yeah. is uh, Daniel Platzman, the drummer for Imagine Dragons. Wow. So, uh, just know that. It's a little so, impressive. Tidbit. Also, I know if Jesse Hodges, the girl in your yeah. That's right. Yes, you and Jesse. Who we use all the time. So we've used her and probably the most lovely. of anyone else. We love Jesse. Yeah. yeah. She's great. That wasn't the, was that the relationship that was ruined? No, no, no. No. Okay, it's, no, she still likes us somehow. Okay. <laughs> somehow <laughs> we have abused her. Okay. Oh. Uh, by, all right, let's, well, let's clear okay. what you should just we, said. Should we clear it up or should we leave it vague? We, we abused Jesse Hodges. Let's make her go. 
Okay, I'll know. I kind of want it here. We just, when we, we work very last minute yeah. and we're, we're very irresponsible, so on set we, our actors just have to kind of fly by the seat of their pants oh. and she's if, been really good about doing if that. If we had to obey SAG rules, no We'd be in sketches jail. <laughs> would exist on our all site. Right, so just like abuse the rules. Okay, yeah. got it. All right, so we're all planning our Oscar parties because we like to sit on a couch and like eat and drink while we judge people and how good or bad they look. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's correct. And um, we've made it our job to help you throw the best party. How do you do that? Well, by following the official Oscar party kit on the Oscars website, of course. So yeah, you go to this website and there she is. Um, there's some hilarious videos from a drugged Katie Lee. They have delicious mixed drink ingredients and a bunch of recipes for snacks for us couch, couch dwellers. I'm going to play Katie Lee and teach okay. you guys how to make the special official Oscar party drink. It's Moet's Silver Screen Punch. Now, and we're really drinking, right? Yeah. Have you seen our show? Okay, don't answer this now. But anyway, here's the list of all the things. Um, I just like to know what the ingredients are and have them here and then just fill it till it's full. Okay, great. Cool. Um, one thing that maybe help is there's ice, but we don't like, we like things to be lukewarm so we don't hurt our sensitive teeth. This is um, frozen pink lemonade that is liquid now. Okay. So we like that. Let's just put all of it in there. Sure. That looks like sugar. How are we feeling now, guys? Excited? Del uh, Ex thirsty as hell. In. Like oh, maybe right. we're going to get a little diabetes. Okay, great. Well, let's add to that. Just let's add some pineapple juice just straight from the can. We took the pineapples out. You'll see those in a minute. Just pour, let's pour just three fourths of that in there. This is looking good. Now we've got some um, strawberries from like a Lunchables. Uh -huh. The mm -hmm. freshest, the freshest yep. strawberries. So we pour those right, ploppy plops. You're so confident when you do this. Plops, kitty pop. It's really attractive. Thank you. Wow, I've gotten that before. I'm pretty good at pouring in things in a blender, if you know what I mean. I don't know. Do you? That's do, weird. Do, do, is that, uh, do you mean that I as a metaphor it or something else? I mean, <laughs> listen, take it however you want to. Take okay. it literally. Then we've got this um, fancy, we don't, here's the deal. You don't want to get the fancy stuff until the Oscars party. So maybe you've already seen that this is not Moet. It's a, some, you save the good stuff for the Oscars. Gotcha. Go, Golden Globes are just practice. Right, yeah, yeah, right. No one's sure. taking it. So we just pour. Yeah, a comment while it's going on. Uh, yep. Andrew oh, Disney asks, hey, Bright Tannic, yeah. what's it like filming naked? Wow. So Andrew Disney. You know who that is. <laughs> Andrew Disney directed a movie we were in called <laughs> Searching for Sunny, which is available on iTunes, iTunes right now. And uh, this question is mostly for you, because you're naked in the film. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was a nightmare, wasn't it? Really? It was a nightmare, yes. It was lots well, of, it was, there were hundreds and hundreds of people on set, and I had to run amongst them naked. And they and told me they the would have- The ages of those people? They were, they were high schoolers. They were a bunch of high schoolers. 150, 16-year-olds. Mm -hmm. okay. And they, they told me I'd have some sort of special thing for it, but they didn't. They, they gave me tape. <laughs> And there's a thing, in the movie, Minka Kelly and Jason Doring are also naked and they closed down the set. It they had like Disney. huge nudity clauses. Right. I don't even think my agent knew I got naked in the film. They didn't um, respect you at all, man. Did no. you use the tape? Y yeah. Yeah, I did. It hurt. Is it still there? You just, you know, it's, I haven't taken it off. It off. It's, I'm that's afraid. Be tough. Yeah. Andrew, it was one of the best days of my life. Thank you for doing we that. We also wow. did a sketch, Boys Night In, where we are naked. That's right. A lot in it. And the, the answer <laughs> to how that was was awkward. That's not like a good Boys Night In. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 So you guys are pretty close. Tell me like your yeah. deepest, darkest secret. What? Yeah. Okay. The, the darkest one? Oh. Well, it's, uh, I think that it's really the movie. How's that looking, guys? Yeah, it's really Wow, that was really. Herder. Herder. It, Herder. Herder. Do you guys believe that? Yeah. That's some very, that's, I can't believe you revealed that to us on the show, actually. Got another, it's a tweet. Okay. Oh. Legally Fawn says, Britannic was listed as an L.A. comedy act to watch in 2013 in L.A. Weekly. What's up? Are they coming back? Please say yes. Oh, yes, good. we'll be there in February. Yes, we'll we'll probably be doing a show, a live show, at the UCB out there in February. Yes, we're sort Ideally. of, we're kind of bi-coastally right now. Right, so you just came back from there? Mm -hmm. We were there for half a year and now we're here, but we may be back soon or not as soon, but we'll be back and forth. I think for the rest of our It's tough being back coast still. You get all used to being in New York and being able to drink and take a cab and then you go to LA and you're yeah. like, what, my car yeah, is here? You know, you can be a great functioning alcoholic here. It's, oh, it's a ton of fun. It's a shame that, that uh, LA makes you have to tone down your alcoholism. Yeah, that's that's not happening here at this show today. Apparently so no, you fill sir. up half of it. Oh, you think, whoa. Should we be ah! helping it? Oh God, go for it. Whoa. Don't worry, I won't do it all. I'll let you each do it too. I, I feel like we haven't done anything to help you here. You haven't. <laughs> yeah, <we're, laughs> Should we have? <laughs> Take it easy! 
Why does he say him? I would want you to know that Brian's, face. Brian's, <laughs> the way Brian's body went, is he like? I made it the letter, arched the letter He's C. He's on tiptoes for no reason. <laughs> All right, Nick, are you ready? Like this. This puppy's gonna explode. Okay. <laughs> That's a cool. I don't know. Image. You guys, tips. I'm, Katie Lee must have. <laughs> <laughs> That's Katie so Lee weird. must have given some tip. Oh, maybe this is the trick. If this you put a pineapple in, maybe that will stop the. No, now you can't. Yeah, no, stop you what? That's the trick. <laughs> That's the trick. <laughs> this is just turning into like a fruit salad of a. This is really good. Now, good luck drinking that. Maybe you could just what put it on the bottom. What are you supposed to like do this. here? Like put your mouth uh, in the table. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you drinking? I got another Sorry, comment. Yeah. Uh, it's I'm from go the like Shar Girl, and it's excited about JT and Destiny Child. Crazy. Wait, JT, JT and Destiny's Destiny's Child. Child. They're both. I read about them. Yeah. They're both what making music. Nate, are you ready? Coming back. Yes. Oh really? Yeah. Wait, didn't I just see one of the Dusty's Child in a commercial in with like two children? <gasps> oh god, he's got so much equipment. Okay. We did it. And I, I just put it. my pineapple like this. This way I know it's my glass. All right, it's time for our next Bethy Award. Guys, will you introduce it? Oh, we can't <laughs> wait to do that. That'd be great. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. And, and the, the nominees, nominees for Best Villain really are... Really impressive, guys. Really good. Best Villain. Furby. Nate, Zombie Tyler Oakley, Comic-Con Monster, Bane. All right, and the winner of Best Villain is... Bane seems really overqualified <laughs> in that group. Yeah, Bane versus Furby. Bane is a terrorist. Yeah, but do you think he deserves it? I mean, it's, oh, this is well, tough competition. Go, 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 go. <gasps> the winner, I mean, the, the, the Bethy goes to Furby. Furby. Wow. Wow. Congrats, All right, Furby. I'm just going to put this right on. Oh, sorry, Nate. Let's go so ahead and Furby. <laughs> Why not? Nice. You want to wake it up? Why? Because it's friggin' scary. Oh my gosh, Nate, you are revealing right now why you just lost the villain award. Look uh, at Furby's it's... hollow, dead eyes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it's because Nate's part hero and he's kind of sweet. You could never have won the villain this award. This thing is a demon. Yeah, it's yeah. true. It deserves that award. Look at it wearing that hat. All like, yeah, I won. Yeah. Uh, yeah, all like, yeah, I won. Yeah. <laughs> Um, oh, does best it, villain, I mean. He doesn't even have arms. That thing is way scarier it's, than Bane. He's not going to turn on. I'm not going to get it. Does his eyes come to life and you turn them on? Yes. You don't want to know. You don't want to know. Okay. You don't. Um, let's watch the work. You guys can see this. Here's okay, the work of our winning villain. Here's Furby. Look her up, Anna. Ew! Oh, my God. What? what? Did you guys get a Spanish <laughs> Furby? <laughs> it's the John Friedman Internet Program. On your world wide bed. How do you feel? I kind of want to kill myself. Hmm. Okay. It's the John Friedman Internet Program. On your world wide bed. I've got Britannic here and a full glass of my special Oscar Moet Meow 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 cocktail. It's time to play Beth's official Golden Globes drinking game. It's pretty simple. You just drink whenever you see one of the things I've listed on the awards show. Feel free to throw me more ideas, you guys at home or you two right now at any point. Throw them out there. Okay, so this is what, this is what you're going to do when you're watching the Golden Globes this oh, Sunday. But we're just going to practice it now. Got it. Um, make sure you take a swig every time uh, a Mayan apocalypse joke is told. Oh, yeah. All right? Got it. So that's yeah. whenever... Mm -hmm. Nate, yep, he's doing his job over there. That's good. This tastes like um, real. It's really pineapple-y, right? It's, there's a lot of it. It's like someone poured an, almost an entire I can wonder, of pineapple juice. Let me see. This. <laughs> Let's see how much you're supposed to put in. Oh, eight ounces. So yeah. Okay. Is so that the, anything that pineapple is near at all? What we did? Do we know what eight yeah. ounces looks like? <laughs> I think so. Right. <laughs> sure. That's like a liter. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the next time you drink is when you think to yourself, is Anne Hathaway gorgeous or scary looking? Ooh, that's a good one, gotta, yeah? That's oh, honor yeah. system, because it's based on thoughts. Yes, it's true. <laughs> no, you have to yell out the name she's gorgeous. You just yell out your <laughs> thoughts <laughs> at all times. She looks scary right now. Yeah. yeah right. I think. I think. Start it with I think. Um, okay, how about next, every time you take a drink, every time someone mentions either how handsome John Hamm is or how big his one uh, is. What? He's like the fast bender of the award ceremony this year. His dick. Ah. What? Yeah. What do people make that comment about John Hamm a lot? Oh my God. Do we have a pic? We should always have that picture. I didn't. You have a photo of John Hamm. I didn't know John Hamm's dick was, was out in the world. I I don't I don't search thing. that. 
It is the thing. Well, really? you, I mean, it's it's been. I guess I do search it now that I know. But the first time it was brought to my attention was like a very public blog that was like, "Look at this thing in his pants. It is like to his knee." Interesting. Uh, Does it? Is it like a nude photo he put out there? Or no, is it, he's wearing pants. You just can. It's, you're gonna see the, pants. We're gonna the contours. We're gonna find one. Oh, great. For the sake of live right. TV. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Super. In the meantime, uh, drink. Oh, there oh, it is. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, do you think you'd be getting drunk and looking at John Hamm's dick this afternoon? <laughs> Why is it so clear? You can so clearly know, see in detail. No, you can see I where know. the head starts. Like yeah. It's... Yeah, did you think you'd be drinking the girliest cocktail of your life and looking at John Hamm's? Mm. I like it. That's what we do. I like it. Okay, drink. Yeah, yeah it's okay. How do you feel? <laughs> and, then, and then now there's been like, it's not just that picture. There's I'm a blushing. lot of them. It's really? out there. It's all just oh, like him in public there. with well, his. Well, congrats, He's John just Hamm. walking. All he's doing is walking to like get a coffee. Hey, he deserves it. He does. He did some bad he, luck he, in the last couple yeah, years. Yeah, you know, he's had a rough go of it. He, he deserves Has a he? big... No. No. Oh, I got one. <laughs> well, I mean, because he, he didn't, you know, make it for a while, so you could be saying that. Okay, hey, that, sure, I got sure. one. Yeah. What about, like, when they do a cut to somebody who, like, an actor, and they're applauding, but it's, like, obviously they're not human, but their applause kind of like Brandon Fager, <laughs> so they're like... <laughs> so yeah, when, like, there's an alien applauding. Yeah. Yeah, right. Pretty much right. every time, though, because every right. actor, it's like, oh, they're kind of, they're yeah. not really people, right? right. You've seen that, right. the thing that, you, that reminds me of the, the Brendan Fraser, that's that exactly thing. What I'm yeah, you're talking about that, yeah. right? Is that what it is, Brendan Fraser? Yeah. yeah. Not a plus. It's so yeah. weird. Yeah, it's like his body is trying to put the movements He's together. He's a Cylon. He's a Cylon. Okay, drink, maybe you see Tina or Amy making a Life of Pi tiger joke. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. It's going to happen. You wait and see. You're going to get drunk off that one. That right sort there. of seems like like <laughs> an easy one. It's like right. drink every time they say Oscar. <laughs> If you think you it's want, gonna be that happen that much? Make... I think I think they're gonna say they're gonna have life more life of pie jokes than they say the word Oscar at the Oscars. That's a I mean I'll take you up on that bet if you want to do that right okay. now. Okay. Also okay. they're doing the golden clock. Three thousand dollars? Three million dollars. Okay, on, why not? We're rich. Yeah, but you guys I'm gonna get get back for mispronouncing Britannic here. It's the Golden Globes though that they're hosting. Yeah. Oh. Boom! We're even. Oh. Well, then, probably, then I'm certainly going to lose that bet. <laughs> <laughs> then you won't get it. No, drunk. he'll be draw. They'll say them both zero They might still say, <laughs> they <laughs> might still, yeah, I waited for the bet to yeah. be made before I th threw that your way. Sorry. It's okay. Okay, how Never, about you can, drink, drink your whole it. glass, pour another one, and then drink that if anyone falls on stage. Okay. Okay, cool. I like that. Like yeah. if, do I, how come that doesn't happen more often, that some chick is coming out in, like, the tube dress and walking down the stairs and doesn't wipe out. I when know. is that going to happen? I mean, I've never worn heels. Is it, cr is it really hard to, like, walk in heels and tight dresses? I assume yeah. it is, right? Yeah, and it's man. probably slippery yeah. and you're nervous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's very hard. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Look at my shoes right now. Oh, shit. You're wow. short. Wow. <laughs> very short. You're way up there because of those things. <laughs> yeah. Do you guys have any um, to add to the list? What do you think? Yeah. Someone, uh, Captain yeah. Dizzy D from Twitter says, uh, drink any time you wish Neil Patrick Harris was hosting. Uh, mm. All the time. Constant no. chugging. Constant chugging, man. I don't know, but I don't... Things. But what about, would you rather have him than Tina or Amy? We've got, we've got a... I mean, it's going to be pretty right. good, but I, I'm a big fan of his... Me too. ...musical yeah. numbers yeah. Uh, he does to open shows. Maybe him great. over Seth MacFarlane. Maybe so. Oh, Seth's hosting the Oscars? Yeah. Right? Mm, okay. Well, we'll see. Who knows? I'm your information station for all things. Awards. We got another one. Also, yeah. Hey, you're comment. You get it. Uh, Pawnee Goddess says, uh, "Drink every time someone mentions Ricky Gervais is gone." Ooh, definitely. Oh, okay. That's gonna yeah, be. Yeah, that'll thing. get you fairly drunk. I yeah, bet. that'll do it. Mm -hmm. How about every time um, someone is checking their phone when they pan to them? Okay. I'm in the That's oh, a good God, one. It seems like see, that got the most. Little... I, would, if I was at the Oscars. I would not leave my phone on my body because I feel like that would just. I'd, I'd check it. It's so Maybe long, so though. There's a commercial breaks and you get bored. Yeah. I think there'll be Russell Crowe jokes. Mm. His performance in Les Mis. Yeah. 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 Do you have a face for that? If you're Russell Crowe, just if you're in Russell Crowe, just getting in angry general, and angry. You're Russell Crowe. More Crow vengeance is building living, inside you. Living That's life insane. casually. What's yeah. your reaction to that? Just. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that happens. Yeah. Yeah. Still I him. Sing and I'm still Russell Crowe. <laughs> yeah. Even though I did that. Okay. <laughs> if you're not a drinker or you're underage, then you can substitute all drinks for either prank phone calls or handstand attempts. That It works that way. Sure. And I'm going to put this full list that we just compiled right now, <laughs> along with some more of mine and suggestions for me today, on my Tumblr, Beth and Show. So the longer the list, the more drunk we get, you guys. Um, be sure to print it out before the show on Sunday. And it's time for another Bethy. Take it, guys. Oh, we were so... The nominees for Best Choreography. We are... Best Choreography. Smash Audition. Subscriber dance, Kungnam style, ribbon dance, Les Miserables.
told you to wait for me. I just told you to wait for me. Okay, you guys, it's fine. The Bethy goes to, everything's gonna be fine. The Bethy goes to, best, for best choreography, Retta! Oh my gosh, uh, it's unfortunate Retta wasn't able to make it today to win this one. Um, do you guys want to accept it on her behalf? <laughs> this is terrifying. What uh -huh. is this? It's a Jonas brother? <laughs> it was a Jonas brother before you killed him with gold paint. Like an atomic bomb exploding. Yeah. <laughs> what happened to his hair? <laughs> That's what uh, happens when you... Who, Retta, is that who we're accepting this on yep. behalf of? Oh. Retta, thanks. If well, you want. we don't get yeah. it. Yeah, we get it. Thank you, Retta, for giving us your If you award. come to one of our shows, we'll give it to you. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Does that make sense? Retta was really, she was really a fabulous choreographer. Um, so since you're accepting this award, you should really see what it's for. Probably. Let's yeah. see it, Retta Choreography. Show show. Good one. I'm here with Britannic, and we're about to play a game we love the challenge to the mind and soul. Fuck Mary Kill. Oh, nice. Just film Nate up here. It's awards hey. nominee themed, of course. You guys want to play? Yeah, it's a great yeah, game. Yeah, pretty simple. If you guys want to play, give us three names. We choose who we fucking marry and kill. We'll do a few that we thought of, and you guys get in the chat now with suggestions for us. All right, let's see our first one. Um, it is Bradley Cooper, Denity Lewis, Hugh Jackman. Wow. God, those are great. Mm. Mm. I mean, um, this is a... I'm fucking Bradley Cooper. Really? Yeah. Have you seen his new haircut? <laughs> no, what is it? He's doing a middle part, and it's, okay. like, longer, and it, it's, I mean, like, obviously I, uh, not... I mean, face. Silver Linings got me. He's, he was attractive as hell. Yeah. That. that was great. I think you're right. I think the fuck Bradley would be correct. Yeah, I think um, that killed Daniel okay. Day-Lewis. He's, I think, the oldest I, I'm of thinking them. of him as... He's had a he, long life. You know what? I think just, like, knowing how erratic his behavior is, he's probably not the best one to, to marry. I think Hugh Jackman would actually be a better spouse. Yeah, no, no I say yeah. kill Daniel Day-Lewis. Yeah, no, I'm agreeing with oh, you. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. I don't want to... He's got more art to make. Who, Daniel? Daniel Day? Yeah. I know. Here's I'm, my problem with sure. Hugh Jackman. I would, kill, I would marry Lincoln, for sure. Oh, yeah. He is a great guy. Yeah. Really. I would marry Lincoln like that. Yeah. Uh, I my problem with Hugh Jackman. I think he is the right choice to marry, but I have two gay ex-boyfriends, and I don't need a gay husband. You know, like it's oh. enough. It's enough on your self-esteem. Ooh. It's right. I mean, am I right? Am I right or am I right? <laughs> He's right. You're, Wait, hold on. Right. Let's go through this. Hugh Jackman, so Hugh Jackman though, is actually. straight, but the joke is that people think he's gay. He's not actually gay, right? Think? I don't. Right? Well, he's married. He's been in a long relationship. He, okay, right. Because if he's he was actually like an openly gay person, my ooh ooh was like <laughs> totally offensive. Yeah. yeah. But like, all right. That could have been bad. Right. Yeah, but he does have great shoulders I would like to touch. So there is that. All that's, and then yeah, you, you get to touch your husband's shoulders. Mm -hmm. That's So that would work out. I don't let my wife touch There's one. Right. Uh, Jessica Costigan says, Anne Hathaway, Robert De Niro, Christopher Waltz. Mm. Christoph Waltz. Oops. Anne Hathaway would be a crazy good fuck, I think. Because mm -hmm. I, re I think she's crazy. I, don't, I would not want to marry her. I kind of want to kill would, her sometimes. I would marry her over marrying a guy. Yeah, you guys just, have that She has, on this one. she gets yeah. a step up on just gender alone. Who are the two? Yeah, yeah. It's Anna Robert Rose. De Niro and, is it Christopher or Christoph? Christoph. 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 I'd marry Christoph, kill De Niro. Kill De Niro. Because yeah. I think Christoph would be a ton of fun. De Niro, he's on his way out. Yeah, exactly. Right. Right. Long life, I mean, he's fine. Yeah. He can go. He'd be good. Yeah, I agree with those actually. De Niro, yeah, he's fine. Cool. He'd probably agree with us. I think so. Yeah. Let's take I think problem. De Niro would rather die than get fucked or married by me. So. Oh, well, I, uh, yeah. All right. I'm not, here's Jessica Chastain, Jennifer Lawrence, Naomi Watts. I am mm. having sex with Jennifer Lawrence, for sure. I and think, I'm marrying Jessica. I'm, I'm going to marry I'm, Jennifer Lawrence. I think I'm marrying Jennifer Lawrence, too. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. I think she's the least crazy. I think she'd be the easiest to get along with. 
Yeah. For sure. I think I'm gonna have to kill Chastain. Oh, I'm marrying her. No, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm, I'm killing gonna... Chastain too. Oh, she's got no. such great hair. I just feel like she's. Does have good I feel hair. Like she's also just crazy. That's why she's gotta die. And wait, so and she's you're crazy, gonna just right? have sex with Naomi Watts? She's so why just what kid? So that's that's fine. I like I'm, older I'm, women. I'm, is fine. I'm not not because she's fine. older. Just because she said. I mean, small kids. <laughs> Not like They're tiny kids. gigantic men. They're the size of that uh, hey, tiny that children. I got one. Uh, I don't think any of these people are nominated, but it's by Arsalanak Haven One. I read that right. Uh, Yoda Dumbledore Gandalf. <laughs> They're not nominated. Um, yeah. Not fucking Yoda. I yeah, can tell no. you that right now. <laughs> yeah. God, no way. I, oh. I'm marrying Dumbledore. Right? Yeah. Like, Dumbledore is, would make an awesome partner. Yeah. Fuck Gandalf. That would yep. be crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Gandalf kill you. <laughs> this is a pretty strict that shot. Would be nuts. Nuts. No, Yoda would be a f crazy fuck, too. You know Yoda, that. You, I don't know. I feel like you'd be judging me the entire yeah. time. I feel and like then, Gandalf's got some and, crazy moves. Yeah, and the minute you start talking, you'd be like, wait, what do you want? What do you want me to do? What are you saying? That's oh, it's what like, yeah. Finger yeah, yeah. you put here. Like, yeah. it's like you don't know. Oh, what me you're, or where? Yeah. You're not right. conjugating stuff mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Work it out. So I think we saw that one pretty. Yeah, yeah oh God, that nailed suggestion. it. That was a good one. Um, yeah. Do we have another one? Oh, God, I've got Ours? so many more. Hold on. Oh, okay. Uh, this one is uh, from uh, Davy Sajinger. Sajinger. Davy's a ginger. I can read. <laughs> uh, Meryl Streep, Helen Mirren, Glenn Close. <laughs> marrying Meryl Streep. Then, Killing Glenn Close. Fucking oh. Helen Mirren. I'm marrying Helen. Okay. I met Helen once. I think I'm marrying Glenn. Uh, really? Mm -hmm. Why? She's strong. Oh, she Helen, take care so, of me. So is Helen Mirren. Helen, no, she's the she's a lady. She'd be like, oh, she. I'd have to be the man. She'd want me to do all these things for her. I feel like she's she she needs to be taken care of. So what are you doing with Glenn Close? You're you're. I'm marrying. She's Helen taking Mirren. care of me. She's you're marrying Glenn Close. Yeah, I'm marrying. Cruella Deville, you're marrying. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for that good reminder. Well, oh, we well but the only loose was Lincoln. That may be the only the Glenn Close <laughs> movie I've seen. Is 101 Dalmatians. Really? Fatal Attraction. Nope. What about when she played a boy last year? Ooh, yeah, see, exactly. Oh, that's weird. Wait, that, that's, <laughs> come oh, on. Is that a Albert Nobs, plus yeah. for you? Sure, yeah. They put that suit back on, Glenn. A, a weird looking boy. I would say, honest. if I saw that person, if I was a character in that movie, I'd be like, that's fucking Glenn Close. <laughs> that's not, and it's certainly not a man. <laughs> no, but I think she did a, like, I'm like, if I was in the Big Mama House world, I would say that's Martin Lawrence. But I would not think that was like Glenn Close specifically. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say that's not Martin Lawrence. If you were I'd rather fuck Martin Lincoln, Lawrence in Big Mama costume no, than right. I would rather fuck Glenn Close. <laughs> Actually, that's true. Okay, would you fuck Eddie Murphy at all. in uh, any of his female which of the clumps? Uh, which which one <laughs> of the, the clumps? Not the grandma. You even have to ask I got another one too. Uh, Peace Nerd uh, says Christopher Walken, Bruce Willis, uh, Steve Buscemi. Bruce Willis is gonna get married. Steve Buscemi is gonna get killed. Yeah, yeah, yeah Steve. That's a hard. That's sorry. a hard. <laughs> sorry, that's a bad death. Board of Empire is just really. I'm just not liking it anymore. So there's not even that. So between Bruce and who? Uh, Christopher Walken. Christopher Walken. Yeah, and Steve Buscemi. <laughs> Yeah, I think I just have to I like. I want to marry. I'm marry Bruce because I just think walk in. I just be like, I can't connect with you. <laughs> What's going on? I can't have a yeah. conversation. That's and very true. Yeah. Sex with walk in. Would be Bruce Willis weird. is more comfortable with silence than I am. I think that might be a problem for us, but I'd be willing to just deal like with it. Just like staring Bruce's nose when really you. Lots of pauses right. with him. I don't know. Bruce has all that baggage with the ex. I don't need that. Right. Mm. We'll just have sex with him and then I'll marry because for walk in, he can just tap dance for me every day. That's what I'm looking that's for. What he, I, that's what he does for his wife, right? He <laughs> tap dances. He's, He's doing it for me, right? in my yeah. fantasy, in this game. Mm. He does, yeah. Right, yeah. And that, um, the video. Fat Boy Slim. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So or we've or been really, yeah, Fat Boy Slim. Huh. We've been getting along really fabulously. I'm really glad because if we really? fought, we'd have to be nominated like last minute into the next, next category. Oh, do we get to? All right, let's do this <laughs> slowly. Okay, we're going to do it slowly. Right. Nominees for Best Fight are. I hate you! Best Fight slash Stunt. Reggie Watts, Sword Fight, The Worm, Egghead, The Avengers. It's a great category. I'm in a lot of those. Okay, this is exciting because I my chances of winning are high. Um, Brian, Brian and I are in a fight. The Bethy goes to also they can be nominated. We'll nominate you quickly. You're not gonna win, but they're also nominated for oh. best fight. The Bethy goes to the sword fight. Nate, we won. Woo! Here you get the whole thing. Yes. Okay. Thanks guys. Thanks guys.
Um, I, I'd like to you thank, it. thank you so much. <laughs> I'd like to thank uh, my college uh, stage combat choreographer, Eric Fredrickson. Without you, this wouldn't have been possible. Definitely Nate. I'd like to thank Jesus. Okay, great. <laughs> Um, definitely everyone here at the Madam Channel team for spotting <laughs> us, making sure that no one got too injured. Uh, and for the everyone at 911, when we called you, you were very readily available. Thank you very much. Um, now, I don't know if you're ready to see this again, Nate, but... I can't um, see anything right Great. Now. Okay, so let's us three watch the sword fight. Great. Oh my gosh. It's like going for it. No, who do you think you are? Oh my... Nate? Sir, Nate. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> Wait, what? I, I yield. <gasps> he yielded. Okay, I'm here with Brian and Nick from Britannic. In a few minutes, we'll take your questions for them. So get those in the chat now. So Nate, Mr. Comet, DJ can bring them up when it's time. Mm -hmm. But right now, the Thursday before the Golden Globes, it's time for us to reveal our predictions right. so that when they win, you know, that then we can yell at our friends and be like, I guessed it, I said that on the Look show. Look at my damn channel's YouTube exactly. daily. Here's Suck a video. Yeah. Dick. Let's take it. Okay. Um, so, Adam, you just watch now and know what he's going to guess. All right, you guys, we filled out our ballots before the show. Let's get into um, into it. Great. <laughs> let's get Excellent. into um, it. Mine are over here. Okay. We uh, Let's do the first one. Let's just go to best performance by an actor in a motion picture drama. This is for the Golden Globes, so you guys know there's... You know, the drama and the comedy right, right. categories, which is why, for example, so the, the nominees are Daniel Day-Lewis for Lincoln, Richard Gere for Arbitrage, John Hawks for The Sessions, Joaquin Phoenix for The Master, and Denzel for Flight. Obviously, some of these wouldn't have made it in if uh, there was just one category, like there are in the Oscars. Clearly. But, um, <clears throat> why would you? Well, I had a tie. Yeah. I put Daniel Day-Lewis and Joaquin Phoenix. I can't decide. Have you seen both The Master and Lincoln? I haven't seen The Master yet. Joaquin Phoenix is unreal in that film. I believe it. It's like there's one scene with him and Philip Seymour Hoffman, like the first time he does an audit or whatever it's called, when you like ask a lot of questions uh, to like give their soul out or whatever. And it's like Joaquin Phoenix. <laughs> is that how Scientology got, works? You got the movie. He has a lot of questions to get their soul out of their yeah, body. Yeah, yeah. Get that soul uh, out anyway, of Joaquin cool? nails it. Uh, I, I believe it. He I, I goes like for it. Uh, I'm going Denzel. Love Denzel and Flight. Oh, I've heard Flight was really it's good. very good. I haven't he seen it. very good. I was about to pull it up on my flight yesterday. I have it yeah. on my computer. Yeah, and I was like, flight? This is not a bad. This is not a good idea. To yeah, have it. watching it on a plane or while drinking is not advisable because okay. it'll make you never want to do either Spoken of those Spoken alcoholic two who crashes the plane, right? What are you talking about? <laughs> I picked. Well, That's an insulting. Just don't drive a plane after this. I picked John Hawks because, like, for a few seconds in the sessions, I forgot about how creepy he was in the MMMMM movie. Martha Marcy, 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 Rebecca, Marcy, Marcy, Mary. Did he play the, the lead dude in Mar the in, main guy that runs the cult? Yeah. Yeah, he was really creepy. Yeah. All right. We're, we have, we're all across the board on that one. Except for Richard Gere is definitely Except not Except for Richard Gere. I, 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 I mean, haven't seen... Be nominated. I, I just did you saw see Arbitrage. arbitrage? Mm -mm. It does a good job, but... He's fine. He does, his, he does that's his not, thing. That's not gonna happen. All right. Best performance by an actress in a supporting role in motion picture. Amy Adams, Master Sally Field, Lincoln, Anne Hathaway, Helen Hunt, in the Sessions, Nicole Kidman, The Paperboy. I mean, I'm answering honestly. I think... Anne Hathaway's I Dreamed a Dream is... It was a single like, shot of marvelous wonder. She goes through like 85 uh, different emotions in the shot. I and she's incredible. singing gorgeously. Yeah. I haven't seen Les Mis just from the little clip from the trailer. I'm gonna give it to Anne Hathaway. Mm. It's not even, that doesn't even do it justice. I, I think it does. I picked um, Sally Field. I know it doesn't. I think it does, Brian. We're back Just to fight. be, just to, I know. It's really tough being here in between her. I picked Sally Field just because um, she fought for that role, you guys. She really fought for it. That's right, I read about that. Yeah, about she it. like... He, he sent letters to Daniel Lewis and was like, I'm not too old and I can do it and I am Mary Lincoln and she's a lot older than him. Right. And it showed, but she still did, she did a well. great job. Yeah. yeah. I think that's fine. And Hathaway's was going to win. She yeah. deserves it. Okay, best motion picture drama. What do you guys think? I, I said Django. Of these, these films? Really? Yeah. yeah. I'll say Django, but I think it should be Beast of the Southern Wild. Which yes. isn't even, oh, isn't it's even nominated. It's not even nominated, but it should be. And also, I don't think... Oh, Moonrise Kingdom is nominated. That yeah, there's my, also the comedy yes. category. I'm talking about that. Um, I picked just, Life of Pi just to add for my drinking game. You know, just... So just for that? Because I'm sure they'll yeah. make a big joke on that one, and that will... You can finish up the, your the drink. The tiger joke, right? Yeah. That we're all so... Yeah, yeah. Hoping the tiger will happen. joke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna happen. Um, how about we move to Best Television Series Drama? 
It's Breaking Bad, Boardwalk Empire, yeah. Downton Abbey, The Newsroom, Homeland. Boo the newsroom. <laughs> it shouldn't be The Newsroom. Like, watch all, I watched one of these. I've Breaking watched Bad. every episode of The Newsroom. So I'm voting room. Breaking Bad, uh, which I think is a pretty safe Breaking choice. Bad! All right. I think either Breaking Bad or Homeland. I know. For this past season-wise, I, I gotta go Homeland. Um, so many flaws but in the middle. But as a show as a whole, so many flaws in the middle. I you really like fighting. Breaking Bad. Yeah, I'm taking over your I'm fighting. I Please. think I'm First not time. getting along with anyone. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the, the, how about we have a best original song for motion picture for you from Act of Valor? No one knows that, right? Am I right? I don't. Not running anymore. Stand up from Stand Up Guys. No one knows that. Am I, I right? Don't. Uh, Safe and Sound from The Hunger Games. No one. It I don't. Probably is like no idea. Idea. Uh, Skyfall. Oh yeah, good, great song. Adele Skyfall. Oh, yeah, yeah, great. Or uh, the new song in Les Mis suddenly because that song that movie isn't, hasn't have enough songs I don't know that they why. Yeah, them. why is that the one song that got nominated for Les Mis? No, because it's a ton no, no, of no, great ones. No, because it's ones. a new song. Oh, it's got to be new. So they, that's why they wrote a song for it. Gotcha. I said, well, I said Skyfall because I thought it was, you know, it's Adele. You have to. However, I kind of think she shouldn't win because then she'll get so sad and write another great song. Another great. Oh. I think we should all be trying to make Adele as sad as possible at all times so she'll come up with it's just true. to help that it next album. It's true. Man. Let's all send our, like, let's all just try and wish that she doesn't win and see if yeah. as a collective we Bad can make prayers. that happen. All right. Um, we're ready for another Bethy, I think. It's the one we've all been waiting for. Nominees for best host are uh, oh, and yeah. the nominees for best host are you don't get to see. best host Beth Hoyt, Daily Grace, Shannon Coffee, Tommy Palm, Tina Fey, and Amy Poehler. <laughs> Got it over here. Nate, you should read the winner because it's awkward for me to read. Okay. That. Uh, yeah. But I will just say it's an honor to be nominated. Uh, and the Bethy goes to Tommy Palm, the Pomeranian. Tumblr. Good job, Tommy Palm. That's uh, so sorry. So sorry, Beth. Good but job, Tommy. Tommy Palm's not here, Beth, so you can accept it on his behalf. Yeah, okay, sure. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll just take it. Uh, it was an honor just to be nominated. It really was. Um, it's easy for me to lose to Tommy Palm of any of them uh, because, uh, well, because he's a dog. And, and because I'll never be that cute and and I'm, I'm fine with that. Mm. Uh, this is a great award. This yes. is great. You're gonna love this, Tommy. Let's take a look at that cute doggy. This hey. sound reminds you of something. What is it? What happened? What happened in the past 77 years that remind that this reminds you of? Category, but it's all good. Just glad to be nominated and super glad to be hanging out with Brian and Nick from Britannic. You guys, get your questions in the chat now because that's what we're doing right now. Um, I'll start. You guys are blowing up. I mean, as you sh as you well deserve and have been for the past while. With your YouTube channel is very popular. Thank Can you, you tell us like what you've been up to lately and what's going on? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, we were in LA for the past half year. We were writing for a new TV show called The Goodwin Games, uh, which will premiere on Fox. One day. Someday um, in the spring. <laughs> spring, summer. Uh, okay. It's the creators of How I Met Your Mother. It's their oh, new cool. show. It stars TJ Miller and yeah. Scott Foley and Becky Newton. Wow. And Bo Bridges. And Bo Bridges. And it's really funny and great and really fun. Really lovely and show. So I hope it gets the uh, So you did airtime. all the writing? You're just waiting for it? We did all the writing. Yeah, we did all the writing. There was no one else involved. Uh, um, no, we had like a nine-person staff, and it was, it was wonderful. It was great. And wow. So yeah. we were out there, and then... Uh, we did Joss's movie, which comes out this summer yep. in uh, June. Much Ado About Nothing. Uh, which was great. And then we're doing live shows a lot. We do one in New York mm -hmm. every month when mm -hmm. we're yeah, here. Tomorrow night, right? No, it's next Thursday. Next actually. Thursday. It's next Thursday, right? A week from today. Uh, 9.30, right? UCB. Something like that. It's at a time. Who knows? Check their website. Mm -hmm. and, awesome. uh, and then we, you know, we do making more internet sketches. And their live shows are, I mean, your sketches, everyone can see how awesome they are. Right. Your live shows are really great. I have been going to them for a long time. Really? Oh, thank mm -hmm. you. Yeah. The Megaphones? <laughs> Those things that we do where we do stand up and improv or don't don't quiz her too much because yeah, she's, she's, the the no, no, she's probably no, lying. Just the Titanic <laughs> shows that UCB uh, I've seen. Nate? I've seen Gadget. Oh cool. Yeah. Whoa. Gadget. I've seen Gadget. Cool. That's wow. hardcore. Gadget. That's really there you go. Cool. Thanks, man. Uh, I actually have a comment here too. Uh, <gasps> Emily West okay. One says, uh, can you let us know anything about the new movie? I love Eagles more than it is probably healthy. Mm -hmm. Um <laughs> 
That's the exact right amount to like Eagles, which is our short film, 15 minutes long, called Eagles Turn People 15 Divorces. minutes long? 15 minutes long. Oh, sorry. Next that enunciate. It wait, is, wait, some the, might call next, it a 15 minute next song. project should be a 15 minute song. Wait, mm -hmm. so what was the question exactly? Can you tell us about... Uh, it was just they wanted to know uh, like anything about the new movie you're working on. We, oh, we are so writing a movie we're writing that a Britannic we, film. we just went to like Michigan for a week and locked ourselves in a cabin and wrote a rough draft of a, of a, of a feature that? screenplay. You did that? Oh, we, we do. We um, did. No wonder you're fighting so much. Uh, yeah. We get along We listen to One Direction the entire time. Oh, um, that sounds healthy. I know, right? But uh, a it's a science fiction farce. That's all we'll say at this point. Yeah, it's, um, it's insane and incoherent in its current draft, but, but uh, it'll get better. And we're really excited to, to make a movie yeah. when, we, when we do. So I trust anything you guys do. That's so cool. Thanks. Did you... I got another... Oh, sorry, I got another one. Uh, yeah. Craig Lee Thomas asks, if you two... Yeah could act slash direct in another Shakespeare adaptation, what would it be and who would be in your dream cast? God, wow. Craig. First Ooh. of all, Good we know question. Craig. How you doing? Yeah. Um, and second of all, I, you take this. You're more of a Shakespeare person. <laughs> yeah. Than Gosh, I mean, I could talk Were for a long major? time about it. Yeah, I was. Um, I would love to do Julius Caesar. Uh, uh, that would be very, very fun. That's one of my favorite shows. Um, I would like... To who else? Who to be in it? I, I gosh, I don't even know. I need to really like. Who was the first famous and... person that did it at Lincoln Center, or was it in the park a few they, years ago? Uh, it was on Broadway. It was Denzel did it on Broadway a couple years ago. I did. Mark Rylance. Um, Mark, Mark Rylance, Rylance would the... definitely be in my That's, dream cast. Uh, he's wow. in my dream cast of everything. Yeah. yeah. He's um, a great actor. Yeah. Uh, Big internet Gary name. Gary Oldman. Big internet name. Gary Oldman. I'd mm -hmm. love to see Gary Oldman do Shakespeare. I don't think he has, but uh, that would be awesome. Um, Sinbad. All right, uh, let's yeah. go a little Sinbad. different direction. Uh, in there? Cecily Waringsensen, I can't pronounce her name, asks, uh, since you were listening to One Direction, what are your favorite One Direction songs? Okay, great. So I All think right. off the Here first we go. album, Here we go. I'm a big fan of, uh, yeah. I mean, what one, makes thing, you one Thing is Great, Up All Night is a lot of fun. Same all Mistakes okay. is a great little ballad. Serious. Same a, Mistakes is okay. But from new the album, new album, I'm a big fan of Heart Attack. Heart Attack's the fucking song. Um, and um, then what was the other one? I mean, the, the little, little Things, things is, is but like okay. the music video of Little Things is the you best really part. You really like Live While We're Young. I, I mean, I do. We went to Richard Simmons' dance class in uh, um, L.A. And he I like Nobody Live Compares. I think that's like probably not going to be a single, but it's a great jam. You should check it out. Uh, uh, but is that a remake of Sinead O'Connor? No, I'm almost 1,000% no, certain cares. it is not. Nobody cares um, to you. <laughs> They're is also going right? to go on SNL and burn a picture of them. What, what other ones? Did you guys know how many, well, how many words kiss? you said at the same time? You are so in sync. No, that's it's what like, says, yeah. We, we kind of know a little bit too much about we spent uh, One Direction. All One Direction. It's true. Yeah, yeah. yeah Heart but Attack also, is we, the killer Can we back up to the Russell album. Simmons, or Richard Simmons dance class? Yeah, uh, yeah, so Richard Simmons teaches a dance class. Yeah, it's called, sure. That is uh, Slimmons Studio. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's <laughs> off Santa Monica. <laughs> That's it. Uh, near, Did you wear appropriate outfits? Oh, totally. Yeah. Okay. I mean, he didn't. He wore no, an, I mean, I mean, an Indian feather head dress the first time. He wore time, a flesh-colored <laughs> unitard. It was insane. It's different, like tutu one time. He goes for it, and it's an hour and a half, and I've been three times, Nick's been once. Uh, there is good work up. Where... Yeah, it's okay. okay. No, I don't okay. think so. It's like because it's like you know you do like real workout things, and like you do like you know <laughs> these kind of things. Spirit, you know? and then spirit there's workout. Exactly. moments where you're just standing still and just feeling good about yourself. Yeah, there's That's one time where he just walks around important. like he walks around like just sobbing at you and like like throwing his emotion at you. It was great. It's so much fun. It really is a blast. It's it's, it's exactly what you think it is. Yes. Yeah. That's I haven't even I haven't even allowed myself to go there to think about what it actually is. Well. Yeah. I will. Wow. Um, I have a special Bethy to announce, you guys. Um, the nominees for best guests at the Bethy Awards are... Okay. Best guest at the Bethy Awards. Britannic. 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 Sean. No you guys, here. the winner is for... Don't... Uh -huh. Hope on, don't wish on a prayer. The winner for best guest. I wish on a prayer. At the Bethy Awards are. Oh my god, it's Britannic. No way! Fuck yes! Oh my god! Fuck yes! Oh my god. Okay. See, karate? Every time you do the effort, karate? It, makes it, it makes it a little. Yeah, he's doing karate! Yeah. Oh! oh. Yeah, and there's, oh, a, there's an eagle on it. There's an eagle from the 50 minute song we did. We needed this. We needed this. Yeah, no, so we know, bad. we know, we know. We know. Jersey Kai, karate camp 1988. Oh.
Wow. <laughs> Just to get a little glimpse of what they do, let's take a look at, do you want to set up your clip that we yeah, have for sure. you? Yeah, sure. This is our most recent oh, sketch. I'm going to rip back down. Our most recent sketch we did uh, for YouTube. I'm a little drunk, guys. It's called <laughs> the dinner party. <laughs> uh, and this is just a clip space. from the middle of it, right? I don't think it's the whole thing. Oh, it's the whole thing. Cool. We'll, we'll see afterwards. It's called the dinner party. Let's three take a look at this clip or seconds. the whole thing. Turns out it was one child mm. stacked on top of another mm. child in an overcoat. Stop it. They kept us up the whole night. <laughs> wow. Well, I'll tell you, we didn't sleep much on our honeymoon either, if you know what I mean. Yeah, because this guy would not stop snoring. I do not snore. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. And how do you know that Nick snores? Well, uh, because... Because when we went on that group camping trip, I could hear Nick snoring through their tent. Camping, yes. Bullshit. Our tents were way too far apart. I had to hop over a creek to sneak into theirs. I'm sorry, Brian. Why the fuck were you sneaking into our tent? I, I had to... She asked me for a pencil, and I did Don't change the subject on me! Why does my wife know that you snore? Okay. Look, clearly we've all fucked each other. So, we should be equal. Right? There's no victim here. We're all even Stevens, huh? Even Stevens. Even Stevens. Even Stevens. I fucked Stevens! Steven Evans? No, Evan! The cousin of Devin. Good heavens. It's almost 11. Ashley, he's my best friend. I thought I was your best friend. Uh, anyone want some more wine? We're out of wine. No, oh, that's not that big a deal. I'm not gonna get upset about that. You know what? I can't believe you three would abuse me like this. Wait, 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 wait a second. You're not the victim here. I am. I can't believe you three would abuse me like this. No, no. I can't believe you three... Absolutely not you. Yeah, you fucked Evan. Steph. Steven. If anything, it's Rose. Yeah. I can't believe you three... I'm sorry, I'm totally lost. Maybe it is, Ashley. Oh, god damn it! who's the victim here? This chart shows all of our extramarital affairs. While this equation factors in the gas money I owe Rose, Nick's bread allergy, and the time Ashley scratched my Veronica Mars DVD. But it's all so, so unclear. What's that in the corner? It's from Pictionary last week. Yeah, that's how Brian thinks you draw jet lag. What? No. That's how you draw jet lag. Oh. You can't use symbols. We're off topic, guys. Okay, guys, we're gonna solve this the old-fashioned way. Whose ever name I pull from this bowl is the most abused among... Who the hell is Heather? That's me. Heather's my real name. What? I'm also from New Zealand. Anything else you want to reveal? I also fucked Steven! <laughs> okay, guys, any answers in your tea leaves? Well, mine form sort of a W. Uh, no, no, I don't know what that means. Huh? What's even being revealed right now? Shut up! Why? Right, we're trying to figure something out! You know what? Maybe nobody's a victim. Maybe we're just victimizing ourselves to avoid bettering ourselves. We keep looking for somebody to blame, but... It's us. We're the monsters. Or is it the liberal media? That's it. Oh, thank you. Victim. <laughs> also, probably violent video games. Over medicating? Gay marriage. Oh, did you read the thing? So scary. We're not responsible. What do you think, Stephen Evans? Just feel like maybe I should have left this dinner party a while ago. Brian and Nick from Britannic. Uh, that was their video dinner party. Yes. Really funny. I got totally okay. lost. <laughs> yeah. Nick was trying to tell me something with the show, and I was like, oh, I'm sorry, what? It's um, fine. I've seen it like three times. Okay, <laughs> let's get more comments from you guys. For I got guys. one, yeah. Dude Meister Films asked uh, you guys, uh, how did you guys learn slash develop your comedic writing? Mm. Just thorough influences or books or classes or whatever. Okay, great, good question. I mean, I guess, you know, we've always really been into comedy. I went, to, we both went to NYU, Nick for acting, me for film. But I think for what we do specifically, it was just like watching a lot of, like I think yeah. Derek comedy is really what got us into doing sketch. 
uh, and then doing... I also, you know, the, the, all the classic, like, Monty Python was a huge Well, yeah, as kids, yeah. Us. Monty uh, Python, I was a huge Jim Carrey fan. South Park is a huge Stella, um, Pixar, Coen yeah. Brothers. I think UCB classes were really exciting. Like, that was really important. Yeah, we sort of... We, it's weird, because we, we started doing those after we did uh, after we started writing together right. we were doing uh, we took like improv classes there which were incredibly helpful right but with sketch we kind of just sort of figured it out on our own we, it, it, yeah it, it's like I was making yeah. silly videos when I was like 10 like that's just always what I was doing yeah. and like they're just they were shit when I was younger but like just through time just doing it just like if you want to do it go out and film some stuff with your friends probably won't be very good but the 50th <laughs> one you do will be right so. that's what I was gonna ask when you're watching all these the, as, a, as a child all these funny videos and stuff where you make you're making stuff then and ideas right. are brewing and oh totally so yeah, yeah. like you watched it and then it came out right after, yeah after no, you I, graduate from college no it's a lot of experimenting with that and trying yeah. to figure it out and it's like it really just like you it's a lot of time like it's just Nick and I coming up with an idea and then just like rereading it over and over, sitting in coffee shops all day until yeah. it just makes sense. Like really you just, just have to spend a lot of time with A lot right of down. arguing with another person that you trust until you get something that you're both happy with. And you, and, and you know it's right when it's right. Yeah. How did you guys find each other at MIU? Funny story. Funny little Who wants tale. To do it? Uh, I'll do it, okay, I suppose. Take it. Um, yeah, well. No, just tell the story just the way you just tell the story. Just a more story. Yeah. Uh, it's, so we, we both, we both grew up in Atlanta, we went to the same preschool, we were in the same, uh, uh, baseball league, baseball league, we went to the same performing arts summer camp called Atlanta Workshop Players, uh, we went to the same pottery class with this guy Mitch Borg, That's right. uh, and then we never met in any of this until our senior year of high school, we went to different high schools and we were introduced by a mutual friend. And then we kind of realized, oh, we've kind of essentially had the same life up right. until this moment. And we both were like yeah. big actors and comedy guys in our separate schools. Yeah. It was like we became friends. We went to NYU together, me for film, Nick for drama. I was one of the very few comedic filmmakers at prestigious NYU film school. Uh, and I would always make comedies. Uh, I didn't say it to brag about NYU. I said it to be like, everyone wants to be like a the filmmaker there. One. Right, mm -hmm. exactly. Uh, and so then we just started kind of making funny videos. And then by the end of... Yeah. Senior year, we were like, oh, we can like put this on the internet and like actually launch a career out of this. Yeah, um, guys, this is a tale. It's crazy. We've this been intersecting. There's a great photo. I wish we had it for you guys of us at age 13 on stage doing mime together at this yeah. camp. And we don't and know you don't each even other. Know? Yeah, we don't have that. We do have John Hamm's penis. Uh, no, Jack Howard says, uh, Britannic, do you write, edit, and direct your videos? If so, how do you manage all of that? Yes, uh, yes, we do. And um, how we manage it is we procrastinate and we stay up really late at night <laughs> yeah. working for deadlines. Yeah, we, deadlines is how we deadlines do everything. Is it, I mean, we write together until we get it right, then we get on set and we direct, and then I sit in front of Final Cut Pro until it's done. I mean, that's no. just how it works. Uh, okay, and Jonathan Motney asks, uh, describe your comedic style in five words. Wow. Um, uh, let's go alternate. Really, 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 oh God, really all your words. good. Okay. Absurdly fast-paced love brothers. Does that make sense? Yeah. Sure. Is love, the love brothers uh, is a little confusing. Is love kind brothers of like, one word <laughs> or two? No. I, I, I like it. It's I don't know. ambiguous. Uh, Jessica Koska asks, uh, "Will you guys ever do a show in Boston?" Uh, we did once, right? Yeah. We did. We will. Uh, we, we loved it. Like, we love traveling and doing shows anywhere. Um, yeah. We did one because the Brandeis, this college, brought us out. Uh, but if you guys have, if you guys are at college and want us to come to your school or something, have anyone contact our manager or agent through our website, Britannic.com, and we'll we'll go and perform anywhere. Yeah. If the money's right. Okay, another one. Uh, Alex has time. Asks, have you two ever argued over a sketch? Oh, have we ever once <laughs> argued? Have we ever not? It would be a better. I mean, has there been one that you have not? Every no. sketch you've seen, we're still arguing is over like product of, of us over pillow talk, over epic other. phone fail. Yeah. There's still choices that I'm not happy. Like, yeah. so no, there, has there been one when you've been on the same page the entire time? And you're like, Herpex. yes, exactly. Which one? Herpex. Mm. We were, was yeah, pretty, I mean, but that still was still the early. Argue. No, I guess that was the early now. days. Yeah, no, we. It's constant arguing. Like you, yeah. like that's the best. That's the way to make your partnership work. Is like yet, fight for your ideas until you convince the other person. But yet, it all comes back to say with me, love, love brothers. Love brothers. Love brothers. Certainly, <laughs> fast okay. brothers. Uh, Jim McCann asks, how did you get Danny Pudi, Josh Whedon, and Chris Lau? Oh, and Rose McIver, in your videos. Right, Chris Lau was a, <laughs> quite a get for Chris us. Chris Lowell is um, one of our. Chris Lowell from Veronica Mars and the Hell. We is, grew up with him in Atlanta. He's, he's coming to our show next asshole. week. Asshole to perform. Um, we hate him. We got the, we were wasted with him last night. And we're yeah. hungover now, and it was his uh, fault mostly. He mm -hmm. fought us for an hour and a half. <laughs> 
Uh, we're good friends with Big Chris. Mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, Danny Pudi, we met. Thursday night at, he's at, performing with us. Yeah, he's performing with us. And then Danny Pudi, we met the very first yeah. sketch show we ever did in San Francisco in 2008. He was there with his group, Siblings of Doctors. They're an all Indian sketch group, which is a great name for a group, I think. Uh, and he, uh, they met us and we talked and they were so kind and everything. Then we visited Community like two years ago and we were like, yeah. hey man, you remember us? And he was like, oh yeah, absolutely. I'm like, you wanna be in a sketch? And he was like, He's like the nicest guy. Danny Pudi so is. So nice. So much more prepared. Right. Oh. I got another one. Uh, Nick, Nick's time. Quick Snips asks, uh, how did y'all come up with Britannic? <laughs> I, who, we were trying to figure out like the name of our group and... It was very early on. It was one of the first... I think we decided it before we even had a video. It was like, hey, what if we called ourselves Britannic? Because it's like Brian and Nick and like Titanic, but... Different. Everyone will get it. Everyone will love it. Well, no it, one loves it. No one pronounces it right. And we capitalized five of the letters <laughs> in it to like make people understand how to pronounce it. it doesn't work. It doesn't work. It so works. We I think it's working. I think it's working just fine. I mean, I have a mechanism to pronounce it. I think. Right. Yeah. I don't think your name's gonna hold you back. No. Thank you. Okay. Where can we see more of your stuff? Oh, good question. Yeah. Um, go What's to up with all your info. Britannic.com. Mm -hmm. uh, B r i t a n i c k. It's there. It's on the screen. You can follow us on Twitter right. if you like. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, YouTube.com. This is Brian's Twitter? Yes, it's me. That's Brian. Good, good work. And then and that's Nick. That's, that's Nick. Then that would be mine. And then uh, we also have a YouTube channel, obviously, YouTube.com slash Britannic.com written out. Yeah. But that, you can get there from Britannic.com. Britannic.com is the, just that. Is it's pretty the best good. place um, to go. You and can see us live at the Upright Citizens Brigade Theater in either New York or L.A., depending on where we are. We'll put news postings on our website. Uh, so also, you should go to their website. Yeah, website. All right. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having hey. us. This has been great. Thank you for getting us drunk. Absolutely. Um, you need to take your award yeah, and absolutely. go to the press line um, is what you need to do. Are they doing photos? Yeah. Right. Okay. Just a few quick interviews. So. All, oh, the big, uh, all the big presses here. Yeah, they're just, they're right, they're backstage. They're right over there, like yeah. three feet over there. Right yeah. there. So you can got just get it. in the press line. Mm, cool. Thank you so right. much for being here. Hey, great okay. to see you. Oh my gosh. Don't forget your cocktail. I'll see you um, backstage in the press line because I won an award too. All right. I'll just hold these. All right, see you later. Okay. Goodbye. Yeah, it's plugged in, so just be careful. That is our awards show. Have fun watching the Golden Globes this weekend. Congrats to all our nominees and our winners, especially the ones that weren't able to be here. Let me know when you can pick up your Bethy. It'll live on my mantle until then. And thanks again to Britannic, our winners of Best Guest, for being our best guests today. Go watch the videos after this if you're not laughed out. Um, now, it's been such a fantastic year. Such great guests. So exciting to get to know all of you. And I'll see you next week. Daily Grace and Hannah Hart will be here on Wednesday, along with many, many others, joining us for our final show before we go on a hiatus. Um, I'll actually be going live on Monday and Tuesday at 4 p.m., just like old times, to hang with you and to really get personal and answer all of your questions about our upcoming hiatus. And just to, like, look at each other, eye to lens. Can't wait to hang. And that Wednesday show is going to be epic. Two words for you, okay, about next Wednesday's show. You ready? Joined by an mm. Slip and slide. Oh my God, okay. Thanks for watching, you friends. Um, subscribe, and I'll leave you with this, our honorable mentions video for those moments that didn't fit into a nomination category for the Bethys, but that definitely do deserve to be seen. Thanks again, Nate, for being a great comment, DJ. Okay, see you next week. Honorable mentions. Beth and Trish, balloon record. Tommy Wiseau and Gabe Delahaye, hug. Dares with Mitchell Davis. Camera work by Kurt Brownler, the Andrew W.K. makeover.